back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're new here, hello. My name is Ashley. I run things here at Oak Crow Gal. And today we're, we're stepping away from the norm a little bit. And I'm going to do an essential oils unboxing. So this was a completely like impromptu video idea. Um, I mean, I knew this box was coming because because I ordered this stuff. So I knew it was coming, but I was kind of just sitting around this morning and I thought, that might be a fun video to kind of like share with you guys something that I've really, really been into. I kind of, um, you know, have beaten a dead horse at this point when it comes to giving my spiel about, um, I always, I always say it in like my favorites videos that I just love sharing things that I love. It's something that I really enjoy. I love telling you guys about things, whether it's low carb food products or like shampoo <laughs> and then having you guys come back to me and say, saying, Oh my God, I tried it. It's so good. I just love, sharing the love. So I am on the oil train. Let's kind of give like some backstory. Um, a couple months back, I think the first oil order I placed was in April. Um, I finally decided to like bite the bullet. I follow a lot of people on Instagram that I have kind of discovered like through YouTube or like through a YouTuber of a YouTuber of a, you know, that type of uh, chain reaction who do young living. And, uh, to each their own. Um, Young Living and doTERRA are both MLMs. I personally don't have any interest in supporting MLM, MLMs. So I did my research to try to find like a reputable oil company um, that was not a multi-level marketing program. We'll be nice and we'll call it like a program. <laughs> um, business model. So I found Eden's Garden and I love them. I have ordered many, many, many an oil from them. And I just really enjoyed the quality of their oils is like the highest of the high. Um, they have free shipping, no matter the order you could buy one oil and get free shipping, um, like a $7 oil and you'll still get free shipping, uh, which I really, really like. So I, you know, started out kind of just buying them to, to diffuse. And now I'm getting more into making things at home. Um, making like my own pillow mist so I can, you know, I get one from Bath and Body Works so I can get rid of that. I'm obviously not using candles anymore. Um, and more recently I have kind of, it's piqued my interest, the roll, the rollers, like doing like a distressing, um, you know, roller or, you know, there's, there's recipes on like Pinterest and Google for, for all types of things, whether it's to take care of stress, anxiety, to, um, you know, give you like an energy boost to, repel bugs like there's recipes for everything mixing different oils and then like topping it with some type of um what they call a carrier oil so that's kind of like my oil story i've heard about them for a long time and april decided to like actually jump in and um kind of start experimenting and i love it i absolutely love it the most fun thing is going on pinterest and looking up different recipes that you can diffuse, you know, two drops lemon, one drop grapefruit, one drop bergamot equals like this recipe. And it's just so much fun. And it's getting even more fun now because we're getting into fall. We're getting into holiday season. There are so many like Christmas diffuser recipes, um, fall, Halloween, like it's, it's just, it's really cool. It's a really cool hobby to have like in a time like this, right? In quarantine, um, it's just been a really fun thing for me to like sink my teeth into the prices of oils on on Eden's Garden on the website are very, very affordable. Obviously, um, there are a handful of oils where, um, you know, especially like blends where certain um, ingredients, not ingredients, but I guess certain more like rare oils or more expensive oils are in there. So the price gets bumped up. Um, so there are like 60, $70 oils that you can buy, but most of the ones that I bought, I think the most expensive one I bought was like $12.95. So they kind of run between like the $6.95 and $12.95 range, um, which is very, very comparable. And I have compared those to the price of Young Living oils and they are cheaper on Eden's Garden. I also heard that Young Living is now doing free shipping, but that they raise the price of their oils because of that. Um, so even if you're not approaching it from like a, I don't, do MLM standpoint, just from like a financial budget perspective, I feel like Eden's Garden is the way to go. So I kind of want to talk about this order in particular. Um, this is a huge order. <laughs> Let's get that out of the way. This is a huge order. It was my birthday a couple weeks ago and I asked for um, gift cards. So this is a very large, 
large order because of that. Um, I was kind of like rolling in the gift card dough and blew them all on this order. Um, also in terms of like what's in here, the oils that I, that I chose, I kind of want, want you to know like where my head was at because it's really overwhelming when you go on the site and you see what you have access to. They have hundreds of oils, individual oils, just straight up, you know, lemon, lavender, grapefruit, um, cedar wood, just hundred percent that oil. And then they also do blends. Like I have a, um, what is it? Citrus cream blend, which is a bunch of, bunch of like citrus fruits and vanilla. They never add water to their oils. It's always like straight up oil side note. Um, so there's a lot to choose from. And so obviously I already have a plethora um, of oils. So when I went into this order, I picked up a lot of staples that I didn't have. Like there were quite a few oils, um, standard essential oils that you think of uh, that I that weren't in my collection. So that was number one. Number two was that we are entering fall and I wanted some more, um, you know, fall scented oils, uh, especially when looking at like different um, recipes on Pinterest. I will link my Pinterest below if you guys want to go go check it out. Um, but especially looking at different recipes, I realized there were a handful that that I wanted that I didn't have. Um, I also bought a diffuser. So um, I promise we're going to get into this in, in a second. But I just I've never really talked about this on my channel like at length. So I just kind of wanted to give like some background and just like explain a little bit. So I picked up a diffuser. Now, while I definitely believe that when you are buying oils, you need to be buying from reputable sources. You need to make sure you're getting oils that aren't being cut with anything like cut with um, water or anything like that to, to, to dilute them and make them, you know, um, not as effective. And also just you're kind of like tricking people into buying um, an, strictly like an essential oil when it's not, like it's half water, half lavender or whatever. Um, so while I think that is important to find a reputable source like Eden's Garden um, or, or like Young Living, their oils are top of the line as well. Um, we'll give them that. Um, <laughs> when it comes to diffusers, you can buy diffusers from anywhere. I have four diffusers in my house. I have one in the bedroom, the living room, Cernan has one in his office and Daisy has one. Two are from Target, uh, three are from Target, one's from Amazon. So don't think that you have to spend the money on a diffuser from one of these sites because they're pricier. They're a lot pricier than the ones that you'll find on Target or Amazon. Um, the priciest one that I have was 25 bucks um, at Target and it's beautiful. It's, it's so pretty. It goes with like the vibe of my living room. Um, but I just kind of want to put that out there because I feel like that's kind of where the jaw drop comes in when you see the prices of these diffusers. The only reason I even bought this one was because, um, I, again, went like gift card crazy. Like I had, you know, um, a little, a little extra cash, um, to do so, but that is not at all a necessity. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. It's a, it's a large box. I'm so excited too, because it was actually supposed to come tomorrow. Like I checked the tracking, um, this morning and it, and it said that it was going to come tomorrow. And then I got an email saying, Oh, your, um, your order's out for delivery today. And I was like, yes, I love when stuff comes early. All right. So it's all packaged very nicely. I have my little, my packing slip and it's all packaged and they're very nice, which I appreciate because, um, because like I said, I got a diffuser and I'm fairly certain it's like some type of ceramic or, you know, something. Okay. Here's the box that the diffuser came in and we will open it together. So this is the Terrazzo stone diffuser. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I like this one because it's tall. The one I have now, let me show you the one I have now that I got from Target. So this is the one that I have from Target. I love it. It's so cute. I'm going to move this one into my bedroom. And then the one in my bedroom is really small. It's probably like half the size of this. I think I'm going to put that in our um, bathroom, but this is the one I got from Target. It's threshold um, brand. It changed. Oh, it's not plugged in right now, but there's a, there's a button back here to like have this dome part change colors. There's a light in there. Um, and I really like it, but I like this one because the one that I bought from Eden's garden, because it's a little on the, you know, it's taller. It's on the taller side. So let's go ahead and bust this open. Oh, it's so cute. 
Okay, so we have our little instruction booklet, which I can appreciate. Um, cool, they send you the cup. And what is this? Oh, the little um, plug-in to, you know, have it work. That's nice. And then let's take this out. This is like quality. Oh my gosh, it is so heavy. All right, and here is the diffuser. I'm so excited. So this part doesn't light up, but the part, the like, you can see this little like ring around the bottom does. How cool, I'm so excited. Here is where you put, put the water, like so. Cool. I'm pumped, I'm really excited about this. Okay, so diffuser, let's get into the oils. Um, one th another thing that I wanna say before I jump into the oils is that this reservoir, like the amount of water that it can hold in here is definitely smaller um, than the, that target, the target one that I had out here, but I prefer that because I like changing it up. Like I, when you fill that huge reservoir in the target one, it takes almost all day for it to diffuse, um, which like is fine, but I kind of prefer to experiment, try different scents. You know, in the morning, maybe I want like a morning blend, and then as it goes into the afternoon, maybe I want more of a nighttime, or maybe I want to switch it up and do more of like a fall, you know, fallish blend. Like, it's it's going to be nice having something with a smaller reservoir so I can kind of change the oils out more. Okay, y'all, I, I told you, I'm so excited, but I told you this was a huge order. Like, it's a, it's a lot, okay? <laughs> but we're gonna go through all of them together and I'm just really, I'm just so excited. I just love sharing this kind of stuff with you guys and um, I just feel like this is a, a big part of what I have been into lately. Oh, this is smart paper on the stove. Um, and I just like letting you guys in and like sharing. Okay, so let's pop open this first one. There's no rhyme or reason to me doing this. I'm just gonna pop open these little baggies. So these are packaged super nicely. You can see they're in like the bubble wrap packs. And then obviously they were pretty um, like nestled in with the diffuser box and then all of the crepe paper. So that was nice. We're definitely gonna be smelling some of these because um, I got some blends that I'm really interested in. Okay, let's see what we pulled out of here. Okay, we have Spanish Rosemary. There are a lot of blends you can do with uh, like rosemary and lavender, rosemary and orange. So I wanted to make sure I had that one. And then just another, this was another one that's like, this is a staple and I don't have it. Peppermint, which I'm not gonna smell because I can guess. Ooh, sweet orange, I'm gonna smell this one. So I don't have just a straight up orange oil smells so good. Yeah, and this is not a blend, it's just 100% sweet orange. So there's the sweet orange. Um, I have the citrus cream, which is a blend of m multiple, you know, hello, multiple things. Okay, we're back. Okay, now this one, I can see the beach houses in this one, which is, uh, which was a splurge. Um, like I said, the, up until this order, the most I had ever spent on an oil was I think $12.95. This was like 20 something, I think. Um, but I really, really wanted it. I saw it when it, I think it was when it first came out or maybe it was just one that they were randomly like advertising and I thought to myself, I need that, I have to have it. And then I saw the price and I was like, you don't need it right now. So this one is called Beach House. And it is coconut, grapefruit, sweet orange, lime, East Indian sandalwood. Y'all know I'm a sucker for anything like wood. Um, what else is in here? Tangerine, Hawaiian sandalwood, lavender, juniper berry, and then a couple ones I can't pronounce. Davana, Damiana, Violet Absolute. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to smell this. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh. This is like, if you've seen any of my empties videos where I talk about candles that I've used up, like th this is it. It's, it's 
creamy smelling with like some citrus, but then you get both of those sandalwoods come through. Ooh, that is good. I cannot wait to diffuse this. I might diffuse this like after I finish this video. All right, um, we also have mm, sweet marjoram. This was another one that um, I've just been seeing in a lot of different blend combinations that I didn't have. I'm really interested about this one because I don't even know what like marjoram normally smells like. Ooh. It smells like a, like, like a muddier, like a dirt, dirtier, like lavender, like a really strong lavender. I'm see, and that that's the thing with these is like, you can't. I mean, you you can say you know, well, I don't like the smell of mint. I understand that, or like, I don't like the smell of lavender. But something like this, where I've never really smelled it before. Um, you can't really just smell it and then be like, oh, I don't like that because a lot of these oils um, smell differently, the same, but different when you diffuse them, um, obviously than just like straight up smelling them. So this is Cernan's favorite and I actually bought the smaller one. This is the 10 ml. I bought a 5 ml of it um, and he loves it. So in this order, I was like, I'm going to get you the larger um, size. So this is the Aroma Fresh. And this is lemon, lime, Siberian fir needle, Austrian fir needle, pine, citronella, and tea tree and cilantro. It's a very um, clean scent. It's just very clean. It doesn't burn soup or burn. It doesn't diffuse. Um, you don't smell the citronella first, but when you smell it in here, it does. But when you diffuse it, that's not like the first thing you smell, but it's just a very clean streamlined fragrance all right <laughs> i told you guys so many all right so this pack has the palo santo palo palo santo this oil is used in a lot of anthropology um diffuser recipes for their like scents and candles um anthropology has this like typical well there's like two or three typical smells you get when you like first walk in but this is used in a lot of those blends um so i just bought the small one i think this might have been a pricier one too let's smell this this is not a blend it is 100 percent palo santo Ooh, it's very strong it's kind of like citrusy but mint like i smell mint too and like a creaminess like vanilla or coconut or something um, one thing that I want to point out, which is really cool, is um, so this side of the bottle, all of the oils are the same in this regard. Um, it tells you if it's safe for kids, if it's safe to diffuse around kids, then it tells you what's in it. So this one is 100% Palo Santo, Palo Santo. Then it gives you, on the other side, it gives you a little description and it tells you what part of the plant this oil comes from and what it blends well with. So, um, so this one says, I'll just, I'll just re read this to you just, you know, so you get like a vibe for, <laughs> for what I'm talking about. Aromatherapists often use Palo Santo to support circulation when combined with massage oils. Meditation teachers diffuse it during a class to help inspire clearer, deeper relaxation while encouraging full body breathing. Its unique essence also serves creativity and steady focus. So that's kind of kind of like their little blip and then the plant part that it's from is from wood and then it says blends well with black pepper cinnamon cypress rose or vetiver i think that's really cool because if you're maybe you're you're not someone that wants to use the various recipes that you can find online or maybe you've been using them and you're tired of the ones you're using you can literally just go on the bottle see what it blends well with and then experiment on your own try doing three drops of this four drops of that I think it's really cool that they give you kind of those little, um, you know, suggestions as to what to blend with it. Okay, this is another one I'm excited for because this has been in so many recipes that I've been um, looking at. So this is the cassia. This is the cassia. It's from the leaves and twigs part of the plant and it blends well with blood orange, clove, and other spices. Let's see. Ooh. It's like a more tame cinnamon. I have the cinnamon bark um, oil and it is strong as all get out. This, this smells like a tame, almost like a more floral, like cinnamon 
scent. And then pine. We got ourselves a pine because I've been looking at all, I know I keep referencing the like recipes that I find online and on Pinterest, but like that's what it's about for me right now. Like it's just so much fun, you guys. They have dupes for everything. I've been doing Bath and Body Works candle dupes. Um, just like the options are absolutely endless. Another thing that's really cool is that, so Young Living is kind of like the most popular um, they've kind of like, you know, really secured the market, um, for lack of a better, better phrase when it comes to essential oils. So when you look on Pinterest, a lot of the recipes are young living recipes. So you'll see like a certain oil blend. Like I know they have one called Christmas spirit. Um, but like Eden's garden doesn't have that, but there are so many charts out there that tell you like comparables. Um, so one of the really popular, um, young living oils is thieves. That's like their probably their most popular one. Um, but the Eden's Garden, I looked at the chart and like the Eden's Garden comparable is Fighting Five. So like that's the one that I bought. So that's really cool too. You don't have to feel like, well I can't do any of these recipes because they're all Young Living Oils. You just have to like look at the chart and match it up that way. It's a really nice resource for those of us that, that aren't you know buying from Young Living. All right, we have two more three packs and then it looks like there's just a single um, packed away. I told you guys, this is a huge order. Um, but it's my birthday present. Coffee, 100% coffee. I'm really excited to blend this. Um, a lot of the Bath and Body Works dupes recipes use coffee um, to do like the campsite coffee candle and, and stuff like that. I'm really excited to blend this with like vanilla, um, cinnamon. Like this is gonna be a perfect fall oil for sure. Oh yeah, it, it smells like, just like smelling coffee beans. Oh, Cernan's gonna like that one too because he is, he was obsessed with that. I think it was Campsite Coffee. Oh, and the Paris Cafe candle from Bath and Body Works. Okay, I'm not gonna smell this one because this is pretty self-explanatory. Lime, we got a lime one. Um, I think this, I pretty much have all of the citrus, uh, not all, but most of like kind of the basic citrus oils. I got the grapefruit, the lemon, now the sweet orange, ginger. Um, this is in a lot of fall recipes, you know, blending it with cardamom or clove, vanilla. Um, okay, what do we have here? Lemongrass, I'm actually, I actually do wanna smell this one because, okay. It does smell like, it's like, I mean, it smells like what lemongrass, I have the lemon oil, but I kinda wanted to see what the difference was. Yeah, this smells like what it says. It smells like straight up lemongrass. Kind of like a more, like a fresher, more like pungent lemon scent. Patchouli, oh, love me some patchouli. Oh my God, this one took me <laughs> forever to get open. Whew, it's strong, but it's good. I love, I, I don't just like, I don't like the smell of straight up patchouli. I like when it's mi mixed with like the sandalwood, the cedarwood, the vanilla. Um, this is also just getting me into the fall spirit geranium you can probably tell like i'm not really into the floral scents Ooh, that smells good though it's floral but it's also no it's kind of just like straight floral it's it smells like 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 a more tepid rose scent to me what do they say to blend this with allspice carrot seed clove bud palo santo or tea tree maybe i'll try diffusing this with the palo santo um after i do that beach house blend and the last one, yep, this one's lavender. Can you believe I've been placing orders since April? I think I've placed, maybe this is my fourth order, and I have never bought lavender. <laughs> so just, just all reliable, all reliable lavender. So that was, let's see, three, six, three, six, nine, 12, 16. 16 oils and then the diffuser. I'm so excited, <laughs> I just wanna get started. I, on Amazon yesterday, I bought the fractionated coconut oil um, and rollers. So I'm, I'm pumped to kind of delve into like that world of everything. I don't wanna overwhelm myself, that's kind of why I didn't do that in the beginning when I first um, started learning about oils because I was like, let's just like keep our eyes on the road of like <laughs> diffusing them and then once we have that down we can kind of look into other things but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's different um 
obviously than my, my normal content. But again, like I just wanted to share. I wanted to share and uh, I'm, I'm just really, I'm <laughs> really, really into this. I think, I mean, I think on, God, my camera will not stop going out of focus. I mean, just like on a regular day, <laughs> regular <laughs> life, um, it's cool, but it's a hobby at a time when like we can't do fun things really, right? So um, that's kind of what I've been spending my time doing is doing that research and pinning all the pins and um, really like investing my time. And it's also just coming up on like the perfect season to be, you know, coming up with really cool blends and making your house smell like the holidays are right around the corner and fall is coming. So anyways, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and drop me a comment down below. Do you guys diffuse oils? Um, where do you get them from? Any tips, any tricks, any suggestions? I, I'm all ears. And I will see you guys when I see you. Bye, friends.